Greetings once again, my friends, fellow modelers, fellow historians, and fellow lovers of everything interesting. I got another little goodie to show you. Um, the weather, it's like a thousand degrees outside. And that means one thing, summertime. And if it's summertime here in New England, we think of the summer classic Jaws. And I got something to show you guys today related to Jaws. Now I have shown you guys the, um, the other model from ADAR with the, the bottle where the shark is attacking um, Matt Hooper in the cage. This one, this one is a lot more rare. I was ecstatic to get this one to be able to show you guys. This one is very hard to find. You really don't see this one that often, especially when it's in this condition. You see the front of the box, the model is towards the end of the movie. The orca is sinking, and Chief Brody is up on top of the mast, and he's shooting at the shark, um, shooting at its mouth because the shark had bitten a oxygen tank that Chief Brody had thrown into his mouth. And, of course, the shark is facing Brody, not us, but for the model's sake, they have the illustration of the shark coming out of the water. I'll show you guys the ends of the box. This is model number 270. And I believe this is from 1975. Well, I'll put the correct date up. I think the movie came out in 78, so obviously it's not 75. It's from ADAR, the side of the box, the unassembled all plastic hobby kit, trademark Universal Studios, Brooklyn, New York, ADAR products. And I love the actual finished model. You can see that just looks amazing. I am just dying to make that. Ah, I can picture putting in the sound effects and the lighting. And, but the rarity of this model, I'm very hesitant to make this. Um, both ends of the box are the same, and I believe both sides of the box are the same. Yeah, again, I love that. This is one of those model franchises that I wish round two would buy and bring back. I would just love that. Um, all of the ADAR, the, the, the bottle model kits they had from the Planet of the Apes to Jaws to um, the Spirit in a Bottle, that thing is really cool. I wish that uh, they would bring those back. But anyway, this is for Jaws. And let's take it over to the model desk where we have some better lighting and some room. And I'll show you everything in this awesome kit. Okay, we got a little bit better light over here. And I actually uh, stand corrected. Jaws did come out in 1975. So this is from 1975. You can see the picture when he's chewing through the line. This is one of my absolute favorite movies of all time. You can see the orca in the background. What they would do is Quint would shoot the barrels, the, uh, the darts into the shark and it would be a rope and it would have the barrels on it. And the, uh, the thought would be that the shark couldn't fight the, uh, the barrels. They would pull up to the surface to float. Anyway, they had three barrels on them eventually. And the shark ev um, eventually does get killed because he swallows a oxygen tank. When he breaks into the boat of the orca, Chief Brody hits him with it and then throws it into his mouth. And the shark doesn't actually swallow it, he kind of chews on it. And at the climax of the movie, that's when Chief Brody is taking shots at the shark and he says, smile you son of a... And then he hits the tank and it explodes and the shark is killed and that's the end of the movie. Like, the, like I've shown you guys the model, the other ADAR model, when it was in a bottle and the shark is circling around to attack Matt Hooper in the, uh, the cage. This one is actually Chief Brody and he's on the mast of the Orca. So again, this, this model is pretty rare. Um, I was ecstatic to get this and be able to actually purchase it. So let's take a look inside and we're gonna see what we got. I'll put that right there. Let's see, the first thing I notice is we have the, uh, the instructions. And of course, 
you guys watch my videos, you know I'm going to put all the instructions up. And you can see this is my ADAR, and this is kit number 270. So what's the first thing we're going to do? is we're going to put the two rows of teeth into the mouth, the upper top, the roof of his mouth. And you can see, we'll do the same thing for the bottom and then they're going to go into the halves of the shark. But let me go over the introduction with you first. Before assembling your JAWS model, read this handy hints for building a more professional looking model. Make certain you have the necessary materials and paints. If you make use of the handy hints, your model will have more eye appeal and your project will be more enjoyable. Leaving the small parts on a carrier strip, paint the inner sections of the mouth, part 3 and 6 red. The gum line area may also be painted red or a lighter shade of pink, allowed to dry. Do not paint area to be cemented. Carefully remove strips of teeth from the carrier, gently bend and curve the strips of teeth as shown. Using a toothpick, apply cement evenly to the inner gum line, groove the upper mouth, part three. Position the second longest set of teeth, part two, into the groove and hold the teeth in position until the cement sets. Cement the longest set of teeth, part one, into the outer groove. Repeat the same procedure for the lower mouth part. Apply cement evenly to local pins and shaded area lower mouth as shown in the diagram and then cement the lower mouth to the upper mouth. Hold securely until the cement sets. Cement completed mouth into left side of the shark, eight as shown. Hold securely into place until the cement sets. Before continuing, please read the following note. Note, this JAWS model may be used as a paperweight or a bookend before cementing the right side of the shark to the left. Fill the left side with sand or similar heavy substance to add weight. Then cement together as instructed in step eight. The paperweight may be used with or without the background scene. Apply cement to all joining edges of the right side of the shark, part seven. Position right side to left side and allow to dry. You can see I'll give you guys a better picture of it. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look. Love it. The two halves of the shark. Backdrop. This is just amazing. I love this thing. The painting instructions. While the cemented shark is drying, you may paint the base, background, and nameplate. Refer to the photo on the side of the box. For the base, medium blue, light blue, and white. Paint the complete base, including the sides with medium blue. Paint the wave, encircling the opening white using the dry brush method. Brush on the light blue over the surface of the water to add highlights. For the background, referring to the photo, to the illustration on the box, paint the scene as you desire. The nameplate will be red and white, and leave the plate white and paint the letters red. For the shark, we got gray, white, and black. Paint the underside of the shark white and the upper side gray. Use white and black for the detailing of the eyes, nostrils, gills, and dorsal fin. Completing the model, when the parts are painted and thoroughly dry, carefully cement them together as shown in the diagram. So this is the final assembly. We put the shark in, the background, we get the base, and we have the nameplate. And it gives some information. Informative facts on the great white shark. The great white shark, formerly believed to be found only in tropical and subtropical waters, this, the most dangerous of sharks, has been sighted and often caught in colder waters of North America. Uh, incidentally, in New England, we still, we do have great whites seen off the Cape Cod. This predator has evolved little over in one million years, which indicates that the great white is a perfect killing machine. Recorded data indicates the great white reaches lengths of 26 to 30 feet and weighs between 2,000 and 6,000 pounds when mature. Uh, I don't know about I don't know about that. This information is from 1975, so 26 to 30 foot great white, I don't think I've ever seen or heard of that. It will attack anything or anyone without provocation. Again, we've learned so much about sharks since this has been released. Every effort has been made to ensure the completeness of this kit. However, should any part be missing, write directly to 8R Products Corporation, 58 North 15th Street, Brooklyn, New York, 11222. When writing, please print your name and address plainly, including missing part number. 
What do you guys think? Is it too late to get a <laughs> part? Printed in USA, a trademark licensed Universal City Studios. And this is from 1976. So this released in 1976, 8R Products. And what else do we have? We have the handy hints. For building a more professional looking model, supplies may be purchased at your local hobby shop or department store. The techniques listed below are helpful hints for constructing plastic model kits. And the materials, the hobby, cement, the toothpicks, model putty or filler, sandpaper, the emery board, the masking tape, rubber bands, clip, uh, post pen, tweezers, preferably hobby or stamp collector tweezers, hobby model paints, preferably both bottled and spray, straight pins, paint thinner, and brushes, fine, medium, wide. Upon opening a hobby kit, review the instructions and familiarize yourself with the actual parts of the kit. Make certain all parts are included. Do not remove parts from the carrier strips until you have decided which part might be easier to paint while attached to the strip. Detach parts from the carrier strips very carefully. And it goes on to talking about filling and sanding and painting, spraying the paint. And as a reminder, clean hands in a neat working area will help prevent accidents and certainly produce a more attractive model. So that's everything with the model. And I believe that's all the steps. We have all the steps right here. We've got one, two, the teeth, three, four, five, six, the bottom teeth, um, seven, the shark half, putting the teeth in, eight, and that's basically it. We've got eight steps. Most of the work in this model is going to be coloring the detail and painting it. So that's what's on this side for the model kit instructions themselves. So when we look at the back, <clears throat> you see all those wonderful super scene kits that I was talking about. And actually, this is the one that I had shown you guys earlier. Number 231, Jaws, a super scene movie, straight from the movie Jaws, the great white shark attacking the diver in his cage. Of course, the diver, uh, my interpretation is that Matt, that is Matt Hooper. And they got some pretty cool ships in the bottle. I do have a model to show you guys of the ship in the bottle. I've got the Mayflower, and that will be number 206 to show you guys coming up. And I love the Planet of the Apes ones. They're pretty cool, but they're expensive. And um, I would rather have the Jaws. The one that I was telling you about, let's see if it's listed here. I'm always on the lookout for the Spirit in the bottle. I love that one for a Halloween build. It glows in the dark and it depicts a graveyard and a spirit that glows in the dark and it's got the mist, the cotton, and the gravestone and the background. I just, I love that model kit and I want to find that to show you guys for a Halloween build. And then you see over here, have you built all these great 8R hobby kits? If you can't find them in your local hobby shop or hobby department, use the coupon below. Now I wish I could. I'd order. Look at the price. $350, I'd order a hundred of them. You can see the how to order. And that is everything in the instruction sheet. So that was really fun. Alright, without further ado, let's get to this wonderful looking model. First thing we notice, or I notice, is the base. And this is from 1976, and this has been handled quite a bit, so it's got that kind of grungy, used, kind of, ick, kind of <laughs> quality going on. So to make this, first thing we're going to do is we're going to wash it all in hot, soapy water. But I think this is the, uh, all right, so this is the front. You can see the shark that's going to be coming up through the base. And you can see the texture for the waves in the water line. And the displacement of the water when the shark is coming up through. I love it. See if there's anything stamped. Nope. Uh, let's see. We got the shark, the starboard side, <laughs> or his right side. And let's see. We got the pins that are going to put the model together. It's going to go together really simple. So 
just like that. It's together, and he goes right there onto the base. Just like that. Um, let me show you guys the backdrop. I love the backdrop. This is so cool. You can see one of the barrels. Of course, it wasn't a wood barrel that they had. It was the plastic barrels. This looks like the raft that they're going to float in on. You can see the light, the mast of the orca, and Chief Brody with the gun. There's a lot of detail in that. So this would paint up really nice. So we would do like a darker blue for the ocean, a lighter blue for the sky, and then kind of fluff out with some clouds and maybe a little bit of dry wash with the black paint to get into all the, um, the waves and maybe a little bit of the highlights on the white for the water crest and the splashing. Then of course we would have brown for the mast. And I think Chief Brody had a black t-shirt on. And you can see the rifle he's using. So that's pretty cool be a lot of detail work again I just dying to do this kit and this will go like that into the back there's these little grooves so let's put this over there for now and let's see we got the top of the inside of the roof of his mouth and all the teeth are off of the, the trees so the one with more, the longer one will go on the inside. You can see it would go into the groove right there. Like that. Let's see if I can put this in. I'm gonna go just like that. See, I don't wanna break it. There. Like that. And then the, uh, the second one, the shorter one, will go on the inner. And we'll do the same thing for the bottom. And the way this goes in, you can see the little tabs inside. And it would be held in place like this. And let's see if I can do the bottom one without gluing it. can't seem to get that one in place without gluing it. So let's kind of put it together. Oh, and it won't stay in place, but you can see his face. His dorsal fin is kind of, no, I guess it's the, uh, the angle. And they should have continued it going all the way down because it, it's a lot bigger than that. And you can see him coming out to get you. Plus, he doesn't look as intimidating with uh, no teeth, <laughs> right? And he's going to go right on the base. You can see a little slot in the back for the fin. Um, let's see, we've got the teeth. We've got the top and the bottom outer rows. And the top and the bottom inner rows. And we've got the, the roof of his mouth. We got where his tongue is going to be. I don't know if sharks have tongues. Um, we got one of the trees. Of course, none of the parts are on. I mean, this one's been in a box for a long time. And the only thing we have that's still on a parts tree is the Jaws plaque. And that says trademark, of course. And you can see the three grooves. And that's going to go. Right there. So, let me show you what I was telling you about the little slot for the fin. So he's going to go like that, and he's going to be coming out of the water. And then, 
we can see the back has the um, this, the slots and you get these raised slots that kind of fit into place in the back so you glue it on and you've got a beautiful display a nice little diorama so that is pretty cool and again it's not really hard to make it's basically eight steps um, we have the sides of the shark the inner parts of his mouth and the base in the background so the, this model is going to be basically the hardest part or the most detailed work is going to be the painting and I'm going to look to see if there's any finished models on the internet of this that I can show you guys some of the work that people has done have done um, again I was happy to get this I mean there's been one that I've known on eBay and it's been like 600 bucks forever and these are so expensive and so hard to find. Um, I can't believe I actually won this auction. Um, with everything, with shipping and tax and everything, I think it was 163, and I, I actually couldn't believe it. Um, I was ecstatic to get this. Again, I would love round two to get these, to take all the 8R models and bring back all these super scenes, and especially ones like this. Um, I would think that'd just be amazing. But my friends, I wanted to show you this model. I was ecstatic to bring it to you. I got some other goodies from Jaws that I'm going to be showing you guys. And there's the box. And let me show. Well, I'm going to put this aside. I don't want it to get damaged. But I love that uh, picture. That just looks amazing. So, my friends. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed showing it to you. And again, it's summertime in New England. We think of the film Jaws from Steven Spielberg. Of course, Amity Island was being plagued by a killer shark. And they hired Quint, the local fisherman, to go out and, see, and see, uh, seek it out and destroy it. And they had Matt Hooper from the Oceanographic Institute and Chief Brody. And ultimately, they get the shark. And that was actually filmed in Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. So, again, in New England, we think of summer. We think of the classic movie Jaws. There's the backdrop. So he would be coming up like this. And he would be getting ready to shoot. And dun dun dun. Boom, and then he blows up. He shoots the barrel, the, uh, the oxygen tank, and the poor shark gets blown up. And then the last scenes of the shark's body floating down beneath the waves as Matt Hooper and Chief Brody kick their way in towards the shore. So my friends, again, I hope you enjoy this little video. Uh, Jaws is one of my favorite movies ever. And I'm so happy that I could have gotten this to show you guys. So let me put it on the base for you one more time just to show you guys how it's going to look when it's finished and painted. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. And until my next video, I'll talk to you soon. Dun, 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 dun.